Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. One of the biggest issues in broadcast animation is dealing with safe colors. Just in case you aren't aware of this, colors that are too bright or saturated tend to bleed or show up as dark spots on a television screen and can even make the audio buzz. Safe colors are also referred to as broadcast colors or broadcast safe colors. And as the name implies, this is only an issue for television. We get a lot of posts in the forum asking how to solve this problem and almost as many suggestions, none of which is perfectly ideal because to some degree it involves the loss of some colors or brightness dulling the image. Technically, the only real way to ensure safe colors without the loss that I described is to work with colors that have their red, green, and blue values each below 235. Now that number may be a little conservative, but as I always say, better safe color than sorry. As a solution, you might think that you could simply make all of your colors have RGB values below 235, as in this example here. But consider this. Any time you add an effect that causes the layer to glow or gain brightness or something like that, you're likely to move beyond safe colors because it raises the RGB values. Also, using any blending modes with even a slightly additive effect can cause the colors to move outside of safety as well. So what's the solution? Again, I'm going to say that there's no perfect solution. If you're working in a professional facility, you may have scopes there that will let you know if and where you're out of color safety, and there are third-party plugins that can help you with this as well. But if you don't have those as an option, and often you won't, then you need to have another solution. One option which involves no work is to let your video editor worry about it. And while that seems kind of lazy, it may actually be your best solution. Many nonlinear editing packages come with software geared specifically towards this problem. Another option is to use the After Effects plugin called Broadcast Colors. I'm going to skip that entirely because it doesn't do a very good job and it's not exactly accurate or precise. My advice? Try something else. What I'm going to present to you now is the solution that I use. I'm not saying that it's the best solution, I'm just saying it's the one that I use when I don't have access to other solutions that I talked about. So here goes. In my tutorial on the film flash effect, I showed you how to create a nice bright transition between two pieces of footage. The problem with it is that as it stands, we're so far out of safe colors, it's bound to cause problems on a television screen. So here I am back in my Chinese New Year project and we're going to solve this problem. If I scrub down in time to one of the flash transitions, I can run my mouse over the bright colors and see in my info panel that I'm definitely way above safe colors. These whites, for example, are at 255 on all three channels, almost definitely a problem for most televisions. Even if I move to a frame without the flash effect, I can still see that a lot of my footage falls outside of broadcast safe colors. So what I'm going to do is add a new adjustment layer at the top of all of my footage. Choose Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Again, as I mentioned in the Film Flash tutorial, by applying an effect to an adjustment layer, all layers below will be given the same effect. Next, I'll add the Levels effect. Choose Effect, Color Correction, Levels. Or if you're on After Effects 6.5 or older, choose Effect, Adjust, Levels. Okay, so ultimately what we're going to do is dull the colors a bit, which causes a loss of contrast. So before tamping down the brightness, let's increase the contrast. Set the input black value to 16. And then set the input white value to 235. Yeah, that's definitely a bit more intense. Okay. Next, let's tamp down those colors. Set the output black to 16, and then set the output white to 235. As you can see, the image is a bit duller than it was before. By the way, that output white value of 235 is the most important part of this for the purposes of color safety, meaning that while the other three properties we changed help keep the loss of contrast to a minimum, the output white determines the highest point of brightness being output. So technically, you could have just left the other three properties at their default, and while it may not have looked as good, as long as your output white is set to 235, you'd be within broadcast safe colors. Anyway, if I move over these white areas now, as you can see, I never exceed an RGB value of 235. If I move back to one of the flashes, even though it appears to be quite bright, it's still within color safety. Now I know what you're thinking. A blind man in the back of the room could see the difference between this and this. And you know what? Placed side by side, it's probably true. When you compare the two, you can see a difference. And that holds true for almost every other safe color solution. But once this thing goes onto a television screen, 
the untrained eye, which is just about 100% of your audience, will almost definitely not notice any difference. And they won't miss anything. Well, you know, unless they really like black dots and that buzzing sound. As always, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net.